What is going on you guys? Welcome to the end of the video. A lot has been done in the last couple of days and I am one and a half days out before I leave to LA for the Honda meet in Lake Elsinore. There's still a lot of things to do with the sedan and I'm hoping to take care of it tomorrow but I'm not going to rush it because uh, all the main items that I need in the car was installed in today's video. At the very beginning of this video, you guys saw I took the turbo kit out of the wagon, which is a Boost Junkie turbo manifold with a Precision 6266. And uh, I pulled the turbo kit out of the wagon because I want to utilize that setup in the sedan with the built motor to make the power goals that I'm shooting for. The wagon is going to be a Subtle 450, and we're going to be building a new turbo kit for the wagon when I come back from LA, utilizing the Just TIG turbo manifold with a Garrett 3076. The turbo kit was fabricated for the way the wagon's engine bay currently sits, different heater hoses, different style motor mounts, and it was just interfering in the sedan. There was a couple of different ways that I could have went about the situation with the turbo kit in the sedan. One was to install the wagon's turbo kit in the sedan and change the heater hoses, but I didn't want to do that because I just filled it with brand new Honda coolant and uh, I didn't want to drain it and make a mess and then re-bleed the system because we're on a time crunch. Option number two was to install the Bobo's manifold with the Precision 6266. Both back housing on the turbo fits the downpipe, um, but I was like, if I'm going to have to take it out anyways, I may as well just leave the setup the way it is. Option number three was to install the Bobo's turbo manifold with the Bobo's GTX 3582R, which was already in the car and everything was already fabricated for the EF sedan engine bay. And worry about swapping everything over when we come back from LA so we can do it right the third time. <laughs> I decided to go with option three just to save time, put the Bobo's turbo manifold with the Bobo's turbo back into the car and everything else just kind of puzzled back in. I don't know if I clipped it for you guys turning the car over with the turbo kit, but I know for a sure fact I did and I heat cycled it with the turbo kit to make sure nothing was leaking and we are golden there. The following day I was supposed to scuff the bumpers to trim the moldings to give it a nice coat of trim black and then I remembered I was like I need to do all the all-wheel drive stuff so I kind of put it off because I was waiting for hardware to show up. Uh, Ace and Home Depot didn't have any hardware that I need lengthwise and uh, the hardware actually shows up tomorrow but if I did it tomorrow I'd be cutting it too close. I figured because I already did the all-wheel drive back end I wanted to do the drive shaft and Vistas coupler as well. Now I did take off the front drive shaft from the car and blocked off the back Vistas coupler because I shown in the last clip the um, flange from the front drive shaft to the transfer case is about two inches short. The overall length of the drive shaft Vistas coupler that originally came out of my red CRX is 77 in total where the sedan is 79 and three quarters. So we were short. I pulled the front off just so I can drive it without it like banging all over the place and uh, that's something I'm gonna have to take care of when I get back measure out the front shaft get another one made so the car can uh, fully be four-wheel drive but for the show I'm really not worried about having it four-wheel drive I mean the car is not tuned there's a lot of things I still haven't done with the car that's not going to be done to the car before the show the car is going to be propped up on jack stand for the rear at the show which is going to display all the all-wheel drive uh, s1 products underneath and uh, you will see the differential if you look deep enough you'll see a drive shaft in there and because it's still mounted up with the Vistas coupler you will see the billet um, carrier bearings that are in the car currently shout out to brandon we have shit up for sending those over i truly appreciate you brother uh he sent it over like three years ago and i finally put it to use they were actually meant for the wagon but you guys see i don't even drive the wagon so i never got around to putting it in that car so anyways guys we're going to wrap up the video right here i hope you guys enjoyed the progress update on the ef sedan the turbo kit installation the s1 all-wheel drive rear end component installation along with the vistas coupler and drive shaft if you guys did man be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys want to stick around for more progress update on the ef sedan a lot of painting to do tomorrow and a lot of reinstallation on things over there or if you guys just want to stick around for the la vlog content the honda meat uh the barbecue with the homies down there be sure to hit the subscribe button but with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace